Hello everyone and welcome back to Shorty Crochets. For this tutorial, we'll be going over part three of the Bear Sands Bikini Collection. Um, this one is the Tango or it's kind of like a Brazilian cut. And again, you can use two colors if you like or do a solid color if you prefer that. And you'll need a medium weight for yarn and then You'll need an F hook, which is a 3.75 millimeter hook, and we'll be going over sizes extra small through 3X. Okay, so we're going to start off by making a slip knot and make our foundation chain. So, extra small, small, and medium, you can chain out eight, a large can chain 10. 1x is 12, and 2x and 3x will chain 14. Okay, so once you chain out your chain for your size, now we're going to work one double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So skip that first stitch and put one double crochet in the second chain from the hook. Whoops. And then just one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so now we're going to chain one and turn our work, and then we're just going to be putting one double crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so that was row two, and then we're going to just be repeating row two. So chain one and turn, and then put one double crochet in every stitch across again. So we're going to continue repeating row two until for extra small, small and medium, repeat this row until you finish row eight. Medium, uh, I'm sorry, large and 1x will finish row 9, and 2x and 3x will finish row 10. So go ahead and finish your repeats, and I will meet you there. Okay, so this is what it looks like after you're done with your repeats. And now we're going to start an increasing pattern. So this is a two row repeating pattern. So for the next row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And the first thing you're gonna do is put two double crochets in this very first stitch. So one and two. And then from there, you'll be putting one double crochet in every stitch across until you have one stitch left. Okay, and then when you have one stitch left, you're gonna put two double crochets in that very last stitch. So that is the first row of the repeat. So you just put two double crochets in your first and last stitch and all the rest just get one in the middle. This is the second row of the repeat. We're going to chain one and turn our work. 
And then in this row, we're just going to be putting one double crochet in every stitch across. So no increase in this row. And then we're just going to be repeating those two rows. So the first row of the repeat, you'll chain one and turn your work, and then you'll put two double crochets in the first stitch, and one double crochet in every stitch across until you have one stitch left. And then when you have your one stitch left, you'll put one more increase by putting two double crochets in the same stitch. So that's the first row of the repeat again. And then the second row of the repeat, chain one and turn your work. And then just put one double crochet in every stitch across. So we're going to continue repeating those two rows. Let's see, so for extra small, you're going to continue repeating that, those two rows until you finish row 20. A small will finish 22, a medium is 25, large is 28, 1x is 31, 2x is 33, and 3x will finish row 36. So go ahead and continue with this repeating pattern, and I'll meet you there. All right, so this is what it looks like once you finish your repeats. And once you're done with that, you can chain one and fasten off. And this is the front side of your bikini bottom. So now we're going to reattach the yarn. You can either reattach it with a magic knot or however you like to reattach it, um, or you can especially if you're a beginner, you can just find that, that slip knot spot and reattach it there with a double knot. One and two. And sometimes it opens back up so you can pull that back closed. Alright, so now once you have it reattached, we're going to crochet over this tail as we go. So let's insert our hook into that first chain space and pull up a loop and then chain one. So in this first chain space, we're going to put two double crochets in the same space. One and two all right from there we're going to put one double crochet in every space chain space across until we have one space left And then when you have one space left, oh, I went into it already. So when you have one space left, you're going to put two double crochets in that last space. And so size extra small, small and medium, you should have nine 
nine stitches in this row. Um, a large should have 11, one X should have 13, and two and three X should have 15 in this row. So now from here, this will be considered row one of the back. So now we're on row two of the back. Let's chain one and turn our work. And now we're gonna do the same and put two double crochets in the first stitch and one double crochet in every stitch across until we have one stitch left. And then when you have your one stitch left, we'll put two double crochets in that last stitch. So that was row two of the back. And from there, we're gonna repeat row two. So size extra small, small and medium, you're gonna repeat this stitch pattern until you finish row five of the back. A large and 1x will finish row 6 and 2 and 3x will finish row 7. Alright, so this is what it looks like now after you finish those repeats. So from here, we're going to chain 1 and turn our work. And now we're going to change the repeating pattern just a little bit. So from here, we're going to just put one double crochet in every stitch across. So no increases in this row. All right, so that's one double crochet in every stitch across. And then the next row of the repeat, we're gonna chain one and turn our work. And then we're going to do an increase in this row. So we'll be putting two double crochets in the first and last stitch. So two double crochets in that first stitch, and then one double crochet in every stitch across until we have one stitch left. And then when you have one stitch left, we're gonna put two double crochets in that very last stitch. So those are our next two repeating rows. So from here, we'll chain one and turn. And then this row, we're just gonna put one double crochet in every stitch across without doing any increases. So just one double crochet in every stitch across. And only one double crochet in that last stitch and then we'll do the second row of the repeat so chain one and turn our work and then we'll be putting two double crochets in this first stitch and then one double crochet in every stitch across until we have one stitch left And then when you have one stitch left, we're gonna put two double crochets in that last stitch. And those are the two repeating rows. So you're gonna do one row with no increases and the other row with increases in the first and last stitch. And we're gonna continue repeating those two rows until for extra small, you're gonna finish row 24 a small will finish 26, a medium is 29, large is 32, 1x is 35, 3x, uh, 2x is 37, and 3x is four, row 40. So go ahead and finish your repeats and I'll meet you there. All right, so this is what it looks like once you're done with your repeats. And so from here, we're going to um, you can either continue working with this uh, same working yarn if you would like 
to not change colors. And if you want to change colors, go ahead and fasten this one off. And we're gonna start with our border color. So if you are changing colors, then go ahead and double knot your new color to this last stitch that we made. And then we will crochet over both of these tails as we go. So we are going to chain one or pull up a loop, chain one and turn our work. Okay, so in this first stitch here, we're going to put two single crochets. So one and two. Two single crochets in that same stitch. And then from there, we'll just put one single crochet in every stitch across until we reach the end of the row. Get to have one stitch left which is what I call the kind of corner stitch. And that last stitch, we're gonna put three single crochets in the same stitch. So one, two, and three single crochets in that same stitch. So that's what it looks like so far. And from there, we're going to turn to work along the sides of the rows. So in the side of every double crochet row, we're going to put two single crochets. So on the side, it might be hard to put two in that first row, but if you can, you can. If you can't, nope, I can. So in the side of every double crochet row, you're going to want to put two single crochets, one and two. And we're just going to repeat that all the way down until we reach that next corner. all the way down the side of the bikini until we reach this next corner stitch. All right, so once you make your way all the way down to the other corner, um, I think we got one stitch left. Then once you get to this corner stitch here, we're gonna put three single crochets into the corner. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna turn to work into the actual stitches again. So we'll be putting one single crochet in every stitch across until we have one stitch left, that next corner stitch. And once you reach that corner stitch, we're again gonna put three single crochets in the corner one two and three and then we're going to turn to work in the sides of rows again and we'll be putting two single crochets in the side of every double crochet row like we did on the other side so go ahead and finish this side and i'll meet you when we get back to this first corner here and once you make your way all the way around, um, we've been putting three single crochets in every corner and we have two single crochets in this first corner stitch. So we're gonna put one more single crochet in that same corner stitch that has the two and then slip stitch into that single crochet. And then from there, chain one and fasten off. And this is what it looks like now. So that's what it looks like now. And the back side is just slightly taller than the front side. 
All right, so from here, we're gonna start on the straps. So, we'll make a slip knot. And then we will chain out our chain. So, size extra small can chain 90. A small is 100, medium is 110. Large is 120, 1x is 130, 2x is 145, and 3x will chain out 155 chains. And once you chain your chain for your size, you're going to find that middle stitch of the three. So one, two, three. So we're going to single crochet into this first stitch of the three. Single crochet in there. And then we'll single crochet in that middle stitch. And then single crochet in the other stitch. So the three single crochets from that corner we did put one single crochet in each one of those and then from there we're going to chain out the same chain that we just did so 90 100 110 120 130 145 or 155 all right so once you chain out that second chain for your size Go ahead and fasten that chain off. So we're going to repeat that for the next four corners. So you'll just start on the first stitch in, of the three in the corner and put one single crochet in each of the three in between your two chains for your size. And make sure you work that on the front side, on the same side you worked your border. So that way it looks, it doesn't look um, sloppy. Yeah, so go ahead and repeat that for all four corners and I'll meet you there. Okay, and once you're done cleaning up all your edges and finishing your ties, you are finished. And I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.